Using brass knuckles in a boxing match is not allowed and would be considered a serious violation of the rules of the sport. Brass knuckles are a type of weapon, and using them in a boxing match could cause serious injury or even death to the opponent. Boxing gloves are required in professional boxing matches to protect the fighter's hands and reduce the risk of injury to both fighters. The gloves used in boxing matches are specifically designed and tested for safety and are subject to strict regulations. If a boxer were to use brass knuckles instead of gloves in a boxing match, they would likely be disqualified immediately and may even face criminal charges for assault with a deadly weapon. Additionally, the boxer's reputation in the sport would be severely damaged, and they would likely face consequences from their athletic commission, including suspension or revocation of their boxing license. It's never been tried, for obvious reasons. But if you want to have an idea of what the outcome would be, watch the infamous light middleweight match between Billy Collins and Luis Resto at Madison Square Garden in 1983. Collins entered the match with a perfect 14-0 record and was widely considered a future contender for the light middleweight title. He was heavily favored over the journeyman Resto. But the fight turned out to be a lopsided match with the underdog Resto pummeling Collins unrelentingly. Somehow Collins remained on his feet the full 10 rounds, but his face was badly injured and one eye was swollen shut. After being declared the winner, Resto approached Collins and his father, a former boxer himself, to shake their hands. When the elder Collins felt Resto's glove, he knew something was amiss and alerted ringside officials. Resto tried to leave the ring but was stopped. It was later determined that Resto's manager, Panama Lewis, had removed significant padding from Resto's glove and had soaked the tape covering his hands in plaster of Paris making Resto's punches feel like concrete blocks. Both Resto and Lewis were sentenced to two and a half years in prison for assault. Collins suffered a torn iris which permanently blurred his vision and he was told he would never fight again. This led to a spiral of depression and alcohol abuse, and nine months after the fight Collins died in a car accident which many believe was a suicide.